Hi guys, hope you're all well and you are super blessed. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. So, so today I wanted to talk about reasons why you should actually leave and not feel as though that you need to be in a position that you feel you don't want to be at. Like when you start be when you start having these feelings, it's actually time for you to leave. There's no need of you staying there and thinking, oh, something's going to change. It's not going to change. It's never going to change because I've been there and 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 let me just throw it out there just before just before I go into these pieces. I've actually I've, I've actually got a place in my notebook. Um don't don't you've got to pray about you've got to pray about it before you make that decision don't do this because i'm telling you to do it i'm not telling you to do it i'm just telling you what worked for me so a little disclaimer out there you know let me just make sure let me just make sure we all um have a great understanding if you know what i mean you know? reasons why i came about with this again again is that um you have 24 hours a day right out of that 24 hours you have eight hours that you use to sleep that's if you have eight hours of sleep at night out of that eight hours you've got 16 hours left you you spend more than half of that 16 hours at work if you do eight hours plus your lunch break so that's more than 50 percent of the time that you stay up you use that at work so of course if you begin to encounter problems at work it would affect you mentally so why would you put yourself in that situation why would you stay in the role that actually isn't benefiting you that's just killing your spirit all the time so i came about with 10 points that i think that i experienced each time and went when I sat down today to make those 10 points, I realized that oh, I, I, I've actually made a great decision and I don't regret it. So yeah, these 10 points, when you begin to feel them, girl, just know it's time for you to say goodbye. Not in a bad way, but in a nice way. I, I don't believe in leaving on a bad note, so you have to behave yourself. So number one, when you feel you're no longer progressing, you feel you're no longer progressing and there's no room for advancement and you've tried to speak to your management your manager your line manager or boss about it and nothing has been done or you try to and they don't give you the chance to speak about it because they know what you're going to speak about and nothing's done that's when you should leave there's no point staying two when you wake up every morning actually dreading to go to work oh my days this was me this is me every morning like i wake up and I'm like oh i'm just like oh i don't want to go to work like when you begin feeling that way please just start focusing on another role because this this that role is just not for you or that company is just not for you at all so you just have to like number three when you're bored at work all the time so you find yourself scrolling through the internet on your phone all the time whatsapp all the time when you find yourself doing all that stuff girl boy it's that time but when i say speak to management don't go up to them and tell them i feel bored no just like speak to them with regards to your growth your progression like how you can get to do more stuff because when I had a different manager she built me up to where I was before I got the current role because I always spoke to her I told her oh I, I'm capable of doing these tasks so please give me a chance and then she gave me the chance to do it and then I had the ability to take on the role that I'm currently doing now I'm there and 
there's no growth so it's like what's the point if you're a young girl that likes to challenge themselves that wants to grow that wants to build their career up you shouldn't put yourself in that situation because you've got a manager who doesn't who doesn't want to share their skills that's not a manager i don't know what it is because a manager is supposed to build you up to help you grow don't be in the team that blocks you out that's not a team that's not teamwork it's time for you to leave when you feel bored at work because they're not bored they're busy doing work why are you bored it's a question for you to answer when you have no interest in in the role that you're doing so they begin to give you work that isn't even part of your task and then you just get bored because it's like this is what this isn't what i applied for that's different from getting challenging work so for instance you apply to be a nurse let's give an example then you start doing a healthcare assistance role you're not able to actually do a nurse's role if you, you dis you're a doctor let's just use a doctor as an example then all of a sudden you're doing a nurse's role you're not allowed to do the doctor's role it's like do you know what i mean they start adding work that they can employ someone else to come and do but because they feel that they're trying to save money they start dumping stupid work on you and then they take away your actual actual role so it's like why are you controlling my career why are you controlling my skills that i'm trying to build i applied for this job i didn't apply for another role so why are you giving me another role i don't mind doing another role but don't take away my actual role do you get what i mean so when you begin to lose interest it means you're not challenging yourself and you, you gotta bounce girl you gotta bounce your life is in your hands like when your salary isn't enough so you, you're doing so much work and then you feel that you've taken a lot of responsibility but it's not matching your salary and then you speak to your manager about it but nothing's happened why should you stay in that position why should you stay in that situation why should you be in that situation when you can just move on and then go up when you move to the next the next um, role there's no point you just gotta go 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 do you know what i mean like, number six when nothing you do ever enough you do everything to try to please but never enough or it's like you don't get a well done do you know what i mean and when you get a well done it's supposed to show up in your salary to get it but you don't get that it's like it's never enough right when your health is suffering so i say this because there was a, that recently i had a flu a really bad flu and then i thought do you know what i wanted i, I wasn't well so I decided to stay home but it's like when you're at home with a flu and they're still asking you for tasks they're still asking you for work it's like why should you no you've got to leave because chances are when you die because you're trying to help the company they're gonna get someone else these companies this is why these companies always believe they can do without you they'll never beg you as such figure so you just got to balance don't try don't try to kill yourself trying to please someone because it it never works chances that it never works and if they cared about you they would have shown it <laughs> in your salary or in promotion or something but it's not being shown it's not being shown and they're not acknowledging it when you find yourself complaining about your role all the time because it's wrong of you to complain about the role, it's wrong of you to complain about management, it's wrong of you, it's totally wrong. So when you find yourself doing that, just bounce, go for it. Number nine, when your side hustle becomes successful, why not? I started this YouTube and brain it becomes successful. Succe uh, successful, if it does become successful, I won't be doing 9 to 5 anymore because I really don't want to do 9 to 5. I don't like 9 to 5. I don't want to work. <laughs> as you don't want to work and that's the honest street and number 10 number 10 was actually my number one so i was just there and my instincts told me that i've got to leave my it was so strong it was so strong it was so strong that week i just knew that i needed to leave so when your instincts make you feel that way when your instinct, instincts when you're in the when you're in the part of your brain keeps telling you it's like your heart tells you you've got to leave it's like you actually need to leave don't stay you need to listen to that inner voice that tells you that you've got to leave because most of the time it's actually the holy spirit that's telling you that's giving you 
because you never know you'll stay there in the next six months and they'll probably fire you for no reason so when you as you're getting that nudge you need to listen to that voice so that's the end of the video hope it helped you hope it's helped someone who's been thinking you know what actually i've actually been feeling this way and i actually want to leave don't feel as though you're stuck in a role or in a job or with a company and you can't do anything about it remember when you went for that job interview you went there like with confidence and everything so the same way you did that to get that role you're going to be you going you need to be that way to be don't change when you get the role you've got to keep your confidence up like you've got to stay in that game you've got to make them feel that if they lose you they never want to get anyone like you anymore because when you put your heart into something and you produce good work they will never find anyone that can produce such work like you that's the end of my video hope you enjoyed it hope you liked it and see you in my next video don't forget to subscribe and um, connect with me in my other social media facebook instagram snapchat why not i'm always on snapchat and yeah see you in my next video bye oh twitter don't forget about twitter see you in my next video bye